When you're rounding a number, there's really only two possible answers. What I would do is figure out my value up to the point I'm rounding it off to, and either it's got to stay that number or it could round up by one, depending on if there's a five or higher after it. So if I'm rounding this to the nearest hundredth, I'm looking at my hundredth spot, so everything up to that point would be 74.31. I'm saying, do I leave it at that number or do I round it up by one, which would be 74.32. I look at the number behind the one. If it is five or higher, I'm going to round it up. If it's less than five, I use my number that I had originally. In this case, the 74.31. Since it's a two, I'm just going to leave it at 74.31. If I'm rounding to the nearest whole number, that means I'm rounding to the ones spot. In this case, there's a nine there. So again, I could leave it a 9, but since there's a 7 behind it, I actually am going to round it up by 1, so my answer is going to be 10. So really when, there's, when you're rounding, there's really only two possible things you could have. Do I leave it the same or do I round it up by 1? If I am going to round 49.78 to the nearest tenth, what would I give for my answer? 49.8, exactly. So the seven's in my tenth spot. I'd look and say, okay, is it 49.7 or do I have to round it up? I have to round it up since there's an eight there.